Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is finally gonna be another lip swatch video. This video is gonna be on the Lime Crime Velveteens. Before we jump into the video, I do just want to say if you don't like Lime Crime, this is probably not the video for you. I know it's like a huge thing, like if you do videos on Lime Crime or you like Lime Crime or you use Lime Crime, it's like a whole big thing. I explained this in another video why I will continue to use Lime Crime in my videos or why I've started to because I used to not use them. But basically the reason is because no matter what my views are, this channel is about doing videos that you guys want to see and if you guys would find it helpful for me to use certain products like the Venus palette or to use their velveteens or to do a lip swatch video on their velveteens, if that's going to help even one of you guys, if that's going to help you out because, you know, this is a free country. You guys are allowed to like whatever makeup you would like to like. If you guys do still purchase Lime Crime and, you know, you're looking on the internet trying to find lip swatch videos and you really can't find many because not a lot of people are still doing videos about Lime Crime, then I just feel like that's not fair to you guys. So that's why I am continuing to do videos on them. Like I said, this has nothing to do with my personal views. This has nothing to do with whether or not I think... What they've done is okay. It actually has nothing to do with anything except that I want to be helpful to those of you who need a video like this. So I hope that this video helps you guys out, at least those of you that are still interested in purchasing from Lime Crime. And that's really all I have to say on the subject. <laughs> so I actually do have a Lime Crime review, like a very in-depth Trash of Treasure review from probably a year and a half ago. I'll link that down below, but basically in that video, I just go into depth on the formula, the price, the packaging, all of that jazz. So like I said, the video was going to be linked down below. It is very old, but it's pretty pretty much the same as it is right now. Although the price is so different from ColourPop, the formula I find is pretty similar. They're very liquidy in texture, kind of just like the ColourPop ones. And they kind of go on opaque, just like the ColourPop ones. They're very similar. They have even a similar applicator because the applicator for the Lime Crime ones is very stiff. Like, you cannot move this really at all. So it's very stiff, just like the Lime, um, the ColourPop ones. So they're very similar. I would say if you're looking at both brands and or you're looking for something similar to this, definitely go for the ColourPop because they're $6 each. You can get so many colors for a lot cheaper than you can for Lime Crime. However, with that being said, I love Lime Crime for the reason that they have the best color selection in my personal opinion. They have colors that not a lot of brands have. Of course, they have like your nudes, your reds, things like that. But they have like, take this color for example, this is probably one of my favorite shades. And it's called Peacock. I believe this one was limited edition if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe they made it permanent. I'm not sure. But this color is so beautiful. It's like a teal, like a dark teal color. I Teal is my favorite color, so of course I love this. And then they have this color called Trouble, which is like a deep olive green color. It actually looks really good with my eyeshadow. Um, but I just, I think that their color selection is so good. Like compared to other brands, you don't see colors like this so often. At the end of the day, I'm not telling you guys, go purchase these. Do not go purchase these. I'm not telling you guys what to do whatsoever, of course. We're all grown-ups here. We can make our own decisions and, you know, we do what we want. I'm just letting you guys know that I love the color selection and I think that the formula is very similar to ColourPop. So if you're not into, like, really, really weird colors, like yours truly here, then you might want to just check out ColourPop because, like I said, a lot of the nudes are similar. They have reds that are similar. They have vampy colors. They have black. Like, they have a lot of colors that can easily be duplicated but then again those weird colors they just take the cake for me I think that's really all I have to say just because of the fact like I said I did do that really in-depth review for the 50 million time it will be linked down below but I know most of you guys are here for the lip swatches so let's just jump into them really quickly before we jump into the video I know obviously I look totally different now um, this is a totally different day I actually went to edit my video and I realized that I did leave out one of the colors this is the color that I left out this is the color rave so when this color comes you will see me you know it'll be today I'll look totally different so just a heads up if you see that I look a little off that's why or if you're like confused like <laughs> wait what that's why so now let's jump into the video mm -hmm. 